come to help somebody. He come to help you. Jesus is here to bring that deliverance to you. In the name of Jesus, I thank you today, Lord. See, the Lord, the Lord can do exploits in just a matter of moments, matter of seconds. God can do something that will just blow your mind. But in the midst of chaos, in the midst of trouble, there is a God that you uh, that you can call on during the midnight hour, and He's there. And He is there. That old sir up in the balcony, tall fellow that's standing against the wall, lift your hands for me, please, sir. Lift the other one, please. One, two, three, four. The fourth vertebra coming up from your lower lumbar, sir, coming straight up. The Holy Ghost going to push us over. I watched you this morning, and the Lord said, tell him I'm going to heal him today. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. My God, my God, my God, for touching my brother. God, let him ride and not hurt. Let him lay down and not hurt, oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you today. Hallelujah. I want to try to help somebody today, okay? The enemy begins to try to create something in your mind. And if he can begin to fabricate something in your mind, then the adversary can come in and just begin to torment and bring something there there that is going to hinder you and keep you from getting the breakthrough in God that, that you are wanting to. Come on because he's creating a fabrication in the mind. I want to go to the book of Proverbs, the uh, seventh chapter. It's an honor to be here today. I got to eat some crawfish this weekend. Yes. I got to see my grandson kill his first turkey. Yes. You teach them to hunt now, they won't go hungry later. Praise God. Proverbs 7. And I got two verses of scripture. Verse 11. When you got it, say, I got it. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Verse 21. With her much fair speech, she calls him to yield with the flattering of her lips. She forced him. Her feet abide not in her house. But yet with the flattering of her lips, she forced him. I want to talk to us a little while about the spirit of drama. Come on, stay with me. Amen, hold me. Everybody deals with drama. Hello? We all deal with the same nasty devil right on a day-to-day -day basis. We are dealing with this thing that is trying to control us. We are dealing with this thing that is trying to take from us. He's trying to tear up your home. He's trying to tear up your mind. He wants everything that God has blessed you with. Hallelujah. Come on, you can be seated. The word loud means to murmur, to roar, to be disquieted, to be in a stir, to be in a commotion. Give me just a few minutes, okay? And the word disquieted means the feeling of worry or uneasiness. And Young's little translation say, uh, says it this way. Noisy she is and stubborn in her house. Her feet rest not. The word stubborn means a refusing to change your ideas, difficult to, uh, to deal with uh, perversely, unyielding. It wants you to be insecure. And if it can get an insecure spirit start, started in you, it'll drive you nuts. It'll drive you crazy. You know why? Because you'll be unstable as water. This enemy's coming, and he's not going to stop until he pushes you around, and he's not going to stop until he gets you out of the house of God and until he 
and until he can get you to quit praying and quit worshiping God, that, that is what it's after. That is its ultimate goal. It wants in your mind. It wants to tear down everything that God has built inside of you. I don't know about you, but I don't have time to play games. Heaven is closer today than it was yesterday. It is inevitable. Hey, we're gonna live somewhere for eternity. Either we're going to live it in heaven or we're going to burn in hell. It is up to you. The word perversely means willful, determined to go counter to what is expected. Ooh. Hmm. Drama is a composition in presenting a dialogue or a story involving a conflict or contrast of character. It wants to create a fantasy in your mind to where that you have a space that you can go and enter into in your mind. It is a safe place. There is only one safe place, and his name is Jesus Christ. There is only one place that we can go. There is only one that we can call on. There, there is only one that we can worship. There is only one that we can stand. Come on, that, that we can stand to, in his name is Jesus. Hey, I'm going to kneel to him because I'm going to stand still. Strong in the spirit. Come on, somebody you gotta make up your mind, God. I'm not giving into this thing. I'm not giving into this spirit. It is a diversion. It is a distraction. It is a fake out. That, that which turns or draws the mind from care. It draws your mind from the will of God. Have you ever seen somebody that, that is as fake as a $9 bill? Hello? Come on now, be honest. I'm more honest than some of you. Come on. It won't sin because it's not honest. It wants to tear you down. Why? Because if it can keep you going in circles, then you'll not enter into the house of God. You'll not enter into a place of prayer. You'll always be dealing with this voice and, ch and chasing this voice, and yet there is nothing that you are able to do. You are chasing a rabbit through a briar patch that is always going to run in circles, and it's never going to get any better until you stop it and until you cast it out. Come on, it is not up to somebody else. It's up to you. You've got to deal with the drama. You've got to deal with the devil. You've got to deal with the things that you created in your mind. And yet we allow the enemy in and we allow somebody that is halfway backslid or there is no such thing a halfway backslid. We will let somebody that is backslid get into our mind and it creates something in there to where that we cannot have a breakthrough in God. We always listen to, to the wrong voice. There is another word that is called siamaki. An act or instance of fighting a shadow or an imaginary enemy. That is what drama is. It is an imaginary enemy. It shows up when you're weak. It shows up when you hadn't been praying. It shows up when you hadn't been worshiping God. It shows up when you hadn't been reading the word of God. It shows up when you hadn't been faithful. Hey, you are fighting an imaginary enemy and he's never going to turn you loose. He wants dominion over you. Come on, church. Hey, hey, look. He wants everything that God has blessed you with. He wants your children. He wants your family. He wants your marriage. And so therefore, we allow the enemy to get into our mind and play in something because we create a space for the adversary to come in. And it's a safe place so that we can go and hide in when somebody's really confronting us with the truth. Still with me? 
drama is a fake out or a diversion to cover up what is really going on in someone's life. Have you ever met somebody that's really not real? They're as fake as a $3 bill. Hello, come on. They're wanting to draw somebody into their world of fakeness instead of us drawing them into truth. It wants to, come on, it's out to take advantage of you. It wants in your mind. Because if it can get into your mind, then it can completely destroy you. It shows up when you least expect it. It comes in very subtle. It's very quiet and it's undetected. And just before you know it, it sets up something in your mind. And then you're not able to get out of its grasp. It's there every time you get down to pray. It's there every time you stand up to worship. Because it tells you, you don't have to do that. You don't have to worship that way. You don't have to shout that way. You don't have to dance that way. You don't have to be faithful that way. Come on, it's, come on, it starts creating something in your mind. It's loud, it's stubborn, but yet it's very flattering. And it comes and it disguises itself as a friend, but yet really it's a foe. It'll tell you that you didn't get anything from God. You didn't get healed. You didn't get touched. Why are you shouting for? Why are you dancing for? Jesus hadn't done nothing for you. Come on, it'll play on your emotions. It'll play on your thinking. It'll play on everything about you. And just before you know it, we start giving in to his voice. Oh, yeah, you're right. No, Jesus, hey, hey, he has delivered me. He has set me free. This is what Jesus has done. Like an old big tom cat that we used to catch and throw him in a bag and beat him in the bushes and see a cat won't fight till he gets mad. Sometimes you got to be backed up against a corner and your shoulders shoved up against the wall for for you to really come out fighting. See, any old barnyard dog can whip a pit bulldog for the first 10 minutes because it takes 10 good minutes to get him mad. But once he's mad, he is an endurance fighter. But see, we are dealing with something that has been a warrior front from the ancient of days. We are dealing with something that is a mastermind in coming in and ruling the minds of men. We are dealing with something that is wanting to come in and just destroy everything about you. See, it's just going to change in the household. God is changing the situation for you. You've been praying for it over and over and over. Come on, sis, and over and over. And I see the hand of the Lord stepping in and just breaking this thing. I see finances changing. Hello, sis, come on. I see situations changing. It's going to blow your mind. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. Ha <laughs> ha. There has been a spirit that has jumped on your mind going, you can't make it, you can't make it, you can't make it, devil. You, hey, you go hide and watch. I'm a, hey, I'm going to show you. I am going to make it through this. God is going to bring me through. I'm going to worship my way through. I'm going to dance my way through. I'm going to shout my way through. I know God is bringing me out. Everybody else is saying, give up. Jesus is saying, hold on, honey. I'm bringing you through. Hey, the storm is just about over. Keep going. Keep swimming. Keep rowing. And we allow the thing to get into our mind because we are fighting an imaginary enemy here. We are beating in the air. We are fighting something that, that we cannot see and is saying words that we like to hear. Just because it wants advantage. 
all the way down here. I couldn't get this out of my mind. I said, God, what are you doing? He said, I'm finna help somebody. Sis, coming down the very center of the esophagus, coming down, he's going to pull this open, and the food's going to flow right. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. You watch what the Holy Ghost does. Sis, coming across the stomach area, he's going to heal all the way across the stomach and even in the muscles. One of you set up, sis, they're going to constrict. Hello, come on, they're going to pull up right. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. See, if it can get into your emotions, it, it will play like everybody is against you and it is for you because it is an imaginary enemy that is wanting to become real in your life. Jonah 1 and 10 says, There, there were the... Then, uh, then were the men exceedingly afraid and said unto him, Why hast thou done this? For the men knew that he fled from the presence of the Lord because he told them. I'm going to tell you something. There are people that is in drama and they will come and get on your boat and cause a storm in your life because they are in drama. There's always somebody playing church. There's always somebody playing shouting. But yet there is somebody that is real. There is somebody that, that, is, that is coming out of the dungeon. They are coming out of everything in their mind. And God is bringing them out. Why? Why? They know what it's like to be on the bottom. They know what it's like to be in the gutter. I don't know about you. I know a God, honey, who will bring you out. His name is Jesus. Verse 12 says, And he said unto them, Take me up and cast me forth into the sea, so shall the sea be calm unto you. For I know that for my sake this great temptest is upon you. Hear me. There are places that you're going to go, and you're going to come home, and you and your spouse is going to fight like cats and dogs. Please understand me. Here is why. Something has trailed you home. It's followed you home. It is not your nature. It is not her nature. But yet it is a... It is an accusing spirit and, and it will trail you and it will get into your home. And, and church, it will cause a disruption. You'll lose peace. Come on, this is what he's after. Because if he can bring turmoil... Then he can stop the peace of God in you. And we come to church and we go home. And we come to church and we go home. And it becomes a rut. And we get into the rut. And we stay in the rut. There are times, church, that, that you got to go from ditch to ditch. Why? Because you've got to get out of the rut. There was a frog and he was deaf and his buddies were hollering at him, come on, get on out of there. Get or, or he couldn't hear them because the wagon was coming and he was in the rut and they were screaming at him, get out, get out, get out. And finally he jumped out and they said, man, you couldn't hear us? He said, no, there was something screaming screaming at me, hollering, jump, 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 jump. And he jumped out of the hole just in time before the wagon run him over. Come on, folks. The enemy will get you in a rut, and he will hold you there just so he'll run you over with problem and problem and dilemma and dilemma and a fake situation here and a fake situation there. And just before you know it, you are chasing something that is running you out of the house of God. Because it wants dominion over you. It's not satisfied until it gets everything that you have. In Deuteronomy 20 and verse 8, And the officers shall speak further unto the people, and they shall say, What man is there that is fearful and faint-hearted? Let him go and return unto his house, lest his brethren's hearts faint as well as his. It is very contagious. Doubt is contagious. This thing is so contagious. 
you know what a virtual reality is? You, you put on this thing and then they punch it in. And you are, and then you're fighting something that is not real. He creates something that's virtual, and yet you are go to that place every day and you sit down and you sup with that virtual enemy every day. Drama begins to turn everything upside down in your life. You know, you can't get free. That's what it'll tell you. You know, you can't make it. You know, you can't get out. What are you doing in the house of God? You just play in church. What are you doing here? And he's constantly hammering on your thoughts. There's no peace to the wicked. Sis is going to change the household situation and it's coming to peace in the name of Jesus Christ. You watch what the Holy Ghost does. Sis, there has been war and war and war and war. And I see the hand of the Lord says stepping in and he's turning situations around in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you this morning. Come on, sis. Come on, lady man. Come on, come on, come on. There it is. There it is. Hallelujah, God. I thank you, Lord. Just when you are just about ready to give up, Jesus shows up. Come on, you held on, and you held on, and you held on, and now Jesus is here. It never gets better when we say it never gets better. The enemy wants you to say it out of your own mouth that it never gets better so that he can come in and take dominion over you. Says he will pull out the dagger, but I bet you got to let him. It's in the corridor, in a door of your heart. Sis, it's been closed for a long time. Come on, it's time to open that door. He wants to heal, sis. Let him do it. Let Jesus Hello, sis. Come on, stand to your feet for me, please. Let's see, 369, 12, 16, 18, about 21 days, sis. There was a change in a situation, and this thing is going to change, sis. And there, sis, it is going to happen. Right in the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. I praise you today, O God. Hallelujah, Jesus. See, dra drama will make you afraid. Judges 7 and 3 says, Now therefore go, uh, go to proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and, and depart early from Mount Gilead. And there returned of the people 20 and 2,000, and there remained 10,000. It gets you afraid. I'm going to die. Isaiah 35 and verse 4, Say to them that are of a fearful heart, Be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. This is what he does. Come on, he comes and he saves. He comes and he saves. He comes and he brings deliverance. He comes and he delivers us. He comes and he pulls us out of the gutter. He comes and he pulls us out of the pit. Come on, he comes and he touches our mind and he begins to heal everything about us. Sister, the Holy Ghost is going to touch that baby this morning and it's going to be different and even the fearfulness that has been on this child, sis, is going to stop. Right in the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. I thank you this morning. I thank you this morning. God, what is going wrong Wrong with my child, Lord? What is happening? This is called fear, and this thing has attached itself. Hallelujah, God. I thank you this morning. 
Come on, sis, look at me. There is a toy, and it's got something to do with ants. You get that thing out of that baby's room in the name of Jesus Christ, and you watch what the Holy Ghost does. Come on, that's right. Hallelujah, Lord. Hello, sis. Even the pressure that's been sitting right here. And this thing been trying to drown you over and over and over, elder. Come on, I see the Holy Ghost pulling this hole, and there was a peace of mind. He, you, sis. Hello, you, sis. Yeah, uh, yes, ma'am. And I see the hand of the Lord coming in and just strengthening your heart and even the beating of your heart in the name of Jesus Christ. I do thank you today, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, girl. Go ahead. You will see God do it. I do it in a hurry for that boy. Jump up, take off. Go ahead. Hallelujah, Jesus. I do thank you, Lord. Somewhere you got to put the voice in your head to silence. Here's what he does. Here's what he does. Oh, see, see, he wants to get between you and pastor. See, I see, because if he can get between you and pastor, the only voice that I'm hearing is I'm hearing this voice, and I'm not hearing pastor's voice. Because now I have allowed an imaginary enemy into my mind and is trying to suck me dry of everything that God has put inside of me. Because now I'm dealing with a fake enemy. Matthew 8 and verse 26 says, it, And he said unto them, Why are ye, why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he, then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. Starts right here. Right here. If I can't calm this, I can't calm nothing else. If this don't get calm, nothing's going to happen. Since your, uh, since your heart is laboring and pushing the blood down to the lower extremities of your body, and I see the Holy Ghost just strengthening the heart, sis, and pushing the blood all the way down to your feet, right in the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus, I thank you today, Lord. Hello, sis. Come on, stand to your feet for me, please. There has been something saying it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Tell it to say, hey, get over in the corner and sit down and go ahead and, and just get your camera. I'm going to pack boxes. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. God is going to honor my prayer. Come on, he has heard my cry. He has heard me. He is going to answer me. Every time God gets ready to do something, the enemy shows up and tells you that it that it's not going to happen. That is when you know you are so close to your breakthrough. You are so close. You're so close. Whenever the enemy shows up, whenever the storm rages, Come on, you put out this fire, and you put out that fire, and you put out this thought, and you put out that thought, and it gets up over here, and it gets up over there, and you're constantly putting things out. That's what drama does. Drama frustrates the grace of God in someone's life. They don't believe that God can help their situation. It'll frustrate you. There's nothing that's any more dangerous than frustrated grace. It wants advantage. He'll call you a grasshopper. You know you can't do it. You know you can't take it. You know you can't fight this battle. Why don't you go back in the corner somewhere and sit down? 
you're wandering in the wilderness and he plays on your emotions just because he wants advantage. Am I okay? Psalm 78 and verse 19 says, Yea, they speak against God. They said, Can God furnish a table in the wilderness? And that word wilderness means a state of disorder. Can God furnish a table when everything is upside down and it's chaotic? Can God furnish a table when it looks like that, that I'm not going to make it? Can God furnish a table? Can God bring me through, through this storm? Can God bring me out of what I'm in? Can God deliver me out of this trouble? Can can God deliver me out of this family trouble? Can God deliver me out of this financial trouble? Can God deliver me out of this job trouble? Can God deliver me out of this trouble in my mind? Yes, he can. God can prepare a table. When you least expect it, that's when it's going to happen. Sis, if you begin to walk around this house of God, yes, ma'am, you. Yes, ma'am, if you begin to walk around this house of God, there's a situation, girl, that's going to break in your household. It's going to break in your mind, and it's coming joy, and it's coming peace. Hallelujah, Jesus. Sis, there is a spirit of sorrow, and this thing is coming off. There is a joy. There is a joy. There is a joy. Saturate of God with joy. We think it's never going to happen, but God says, I'll show you. Hide and watch. Look, you always got somebody that's going to make fun of you. You always got somebody that is going to talk about you. Hello? Sometimes you need some hecklers. You know why you need some hecklers? One, they, uh, number one, uh, they push you to prayer. Number two, they, uh, they begin to see everything that God is doing in your life. And... Come on here, sis, I want to pray for you. Sis, it is changing today. Oh, yeah. Say ha ha. Go ahead, take that mask off. Yeah, you got to breathe. Ha ha. Say it was fire. Ha ha. The next time this thing gets between your ears and says that you can't do it, say ha ha. <laughs> Laugh at it. Ha ha. <laughs> Laughter do it good. Ju just like a medicine. God, I need some medicine today. Ha ha, devil. I'm coming out of this. I'm coming out victorious. <laughs> Yes, there is a family trouble that's changing. Come on. There is a job situation that's changing in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you today, God. See, he wants to play in your mind. That is where he wants. Because if he can get in the playground of your mind, then he can sow seeds of everything. Verse 36 says, Nevertheless, they did flatter him with their mouth, and they lied unto, and they lied unto him with their tongues. Drama stands in a void place and it opens up a door for a lying, deceiving spirit. Ooh. It'll tell you, oh, you're worth it. You're worth it. You're worth it. All just to snare you. See, there's some of you in here within the sound of my voice. The enemy has been trying to draw you into a void place. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. It ain't happened yet. 
Rome wasn't built in a day. Some people come to the house of God and just act like a statue. And I don't understand that. <laughs> Hallelujah, Lord. Hello, young man. Come on, stand to your feet for me, son. I see the Holy Ghost stepping in and touching something just that you've been wanting to do. I see paperwork and I see paperwork. I see paperwork and it's laying there and laying there and laying there. Sir, son, if you'll let the Holy Ghost, come on, he's turning this thing around. Come on, sir, he's turning this thing around. It's like unto it's been rejected, it's been rejected, it's been rejected. Sir, they are about to stamp this thing approved. For in the name of Jesus Christ, you watch what the Holy Ghost does. Ha <laughs> ha. You've been telling the Lord, God, when is it going to be my time? When is it going to be my time? Son, it's now. Come on, it's now. Come on, sir, you got to step into it. The spirit that has been telling you, give up, give up. I don't think so. I'm not giving up. I'm not throwing in a towel. I'm not playing church. Because there has been a spirit that, uh, that's jumped on your shoulder just within the last few days and said, just lend me your ear. I want to give you an earful. This is going to happen to you, and this is going to happen to you. Son, it's a lying spirit. Get that thing out of your mind. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. I need another young man who will dance with him. Come on. Dancing is a celebration of what Jesus can do. young man go ahead and break loose God I'm coming out of this hell's not going to get the best of me I'm going to have the victory I'm going to have the last laugh The finances is going to change, son. You watch the Holy Ghost be begin to change this to where you'll be able to step in and do and do and do and do and do. Right in the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. Yes, God, yes, God. I praise you today, oh, Lord. <laughs> you think I'm crazy? Jump up and take off and watch what he does. Go ahead. God, you all, you open the heavens today in the name of G Jesus Christ. Do it, God. This your girlfriend? Yeah, yeah. Well, I know she's your wife, but I know she's, yeah, yeah. Can we all stay, what you sit down for? Lord Jesus. Get your girlfriend by the hand, okay? There's, there's going to come some time very shortly that you're going to be able just to get away until where you two can come to know one another again in the name of Jesus Christ because things are changing. Things are changing. And God's touching your body and he's touching her body in the name of Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. I do thank you, Lord. I see a young man, sir, and I don't understand. I just keep seeing a young man that he's standing behind you. The Holy Ghost is going to touch that young man and pull him out of, where, out of where he's at and bring him on into the house of God. God is changing that boy's mind. He's changing his heart. In the name of Jesus, I do thank you today, Lord. Hallelujah, God. I praise you today. Hello, sis, coming down, uh, uh, coming down through your feet. He's going to touch your feet to where, uh, sister, where that you can walk. Right in the name of Je uh, Jesus Christ. Christ, I do thank you, Lord. My God, my God, my God, begin to heal, Lord. Bring that deliverance today in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah, Jesus. I do thank you, Lord. How are you? Good? Good. 
Okay, I'm country, okay? We say good and y'all, and you, we don't say you and just okay. We just say y'all. Some of you got your mind on your need. Get your mind on Jesus. Go ahead. There's an undertow that's trying to set off in this service. Here's how we stop it. We stop it through praise, and we stop it through prayer. God, the Holy Ghost is going to touch this man right here. There is an old hurt, sir. The Holy Ghost is pulling this old hurt right on off of your body. In the name of Jesus Christ and out of your mind, sir, there has been a detriment that has happened in your heart. Well, if this is what church is about, I'll go every once in a while. No, I'm sorry. I got to be faithful. I see some people, sir, that you are, uh, that you, uh, uh, that is connected to you, and they're trying to pull you out, but yet I see some that are pulling you in, and you're caught in the middle, sir. It is like you're on a seesaw, and I see the hand of the Lord coming in and just putting his hand down and says, it's done. He's mine. Right in the name of G Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah, Lord. Hello, sis. Come on, stand on your feet for me, please. Uh, let's see, 3, 6, 9, 12, 16, 18, 19. 19, about 41 days, sis, there's going to be a change in the name of Jesus Christ. The Holy Ghost is stepping in. Come on, sis, there has been a weight that's been sitting here, and it's pushing you down over and over, and it's trying to drown you spiritually. But I see the hand of the Lord, sis, picking you up and pulling you out. In the name of Je Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. <laughs> Fear has been trying to run you in the ground. It's time to put your head on fear and say, look, I'm not going that way. I'm not playing that game. I'm going to tap dance right... I, 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 I'm going to tap dance right on your head. I'm not going to quit worshiping God. I'm going to enter into the house of God and just watch what the Holy Ghost does. Hallelujah, Lord. I do thank you today. Sis, you may be seated. Come on, you may be seated. Hello, sis. Come on, stand your feet for me, please. Let Jesus Christ rule and reign and let him lead, sis. He will blow your mind in what he will do with you and through you, but you've got to let him lead. You don't get into this car and crank up the car and put it in gear and just put your foot on the gas and say, let's go without putting your hand on the wheel. Praise God, somebody take the wheel. Somebody better take the wheel. How old are you, sis? 29? She married? I didn't think so, okay. If you let God, come on, you got to let God. He's got to show up. Sis, there's been a brokenness that is right here. And there's a trust issue that is right here. Come on, girl. Come on, let God. Come on, you've been trying to hold everybody out and hold everybody out. Everybody's the same way. No, everybody is not the same way. In the name of Jesus. Sis, can I get right here, please? Come on, pull. Come on, sis, pull that mass down. Come on, come on. Come on, there it is. Jesus has come to settle a trust issue. Come on, sis. Let him men. He wants to heal you. And the one that hurts you so bad is wanting to come back around. I don't think so. It ain't happening, Jack. 
is shining. Him, say, hey, hey, you hit the road, Jack, you ain't coming back. Come on, tell it. Because it's out to take advantage of you and get what you got and it's gone. Come on, sis. Sis, come on, look at me. It plays right here. And then it gets what it's got and it's gone. And it leaves you in the gutter hurting and longing and trying to find something that you really want. And if you'll let the Holy Ghost see us here, he'll pull this pressure right on off of you. And there will be a joy that will saturate you, that will blow your mind in the name of Jesus Christ. That's what you've been looking for. You've been looking for the joy of the Lord. God, I want the joy. I'm trying to hurry, okay? I really am. I'm trying to hurry. In 1 Kings 22 and verse 10, And the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, sat each on his throne, having put on their robes in a void place. Come on, it keeps you in a void place. Genesis 39 and verse 10, you begin to read about Joseph. Potiphar's wife said, Come and lay with me. Come and lay with me. Come and lay with me. Joseph said, uh-uh, there was an integrity. Even in bondage, he still had an integrity. And she grabbed his jacket and he ran out. Potiphar knew that there was something wrong with her because she liked young men. He was a man who could have had Joseph killed See, what drama does, it creates the dialogue and then it throws the blame on you when it gets it started. Delilah told Samson, you say you love me. You don't love me. What is your great strength lie? You don't love me. Until he told her where the strength lies. Hallelujah, God. Sis, if you'll silence this thing in your mind, it'll change this day forever. But you gotta silence it in your mind. And here is how you silence it. You silence it through the power of the Holy Ghost and get into the Word of God and read and read and read and fill your mind with, uh, with the Word of God, sis. And don't let the enemy get right, uh, get right here. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. There's a spirit, sis, and this thing has been trying to take advantage of you and it's doing a good job. Come on, it's time to cut this thing loose and put it to fly in the name of Jesus Christ. Well, I need it. No, you don't. Hallelujah, Lord. I do thank you, Lord. I do thank you, God. I praise you today. Hello, sir. You the Superman shirt on. Hello. Come on, look at me, sir. If you'll let the Holy Ghost come on, you got, sir. You've got to let Him in. Let Him reign in the name of Jesus Christ. The Holy Ghost is pulled at you and pulled at you, sir. And it's time to break loose from that one situation that has been holding you captive, sir. Cut it loose and let it go. And watch what Jesus Christ to do. He He will begin to heal. He will begin to bring that deliverance to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Hello, sir, coming down through the beating of your heart. He's going to touch your heart in the name of Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. Begin to touch the beating, Lord. Let it beat strong. Let it beat right in the name of Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord. Hello, sis. Look at me. It 
is changing. It's a long lane that never changes, but once it changes, sis, it changes for eternity. And this thing is about to change for eternity for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. The worry and the frustration, sis, it is coming off of you. And I see a joy and a joy and a joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, God. Hello, sis. Come on, you in the pink sweater. Come on, stand on your feet for me, please. Mm. Now, coming into the very center of the stomach, sis, really, it really starts right along here and it ends here. There was a burning that starts here and it comes all the way down, sis. And I see the Holy Ghost pulling this off your body. There has been a situation, sis, and this thing has been trying to push you around and push you around and push you around. It's time to push back and say, look, old boy, hey, I'm not giving in to that junk. I'm not, hey, I'm not going to play that game. You want to fight? Let's fight. Here is, how I, here is how I fight. I fight on my knees. I fight in prayer. I fight with the word of God. There's a pressure that is coming off the back of your head, sis, and this thing starts here and it comes over the back of the head. I want to get right along about the middle ways of your head. It's like, oh my God, here it is again. And I see the Holy Ghost pulling off this pressure, sis, and it changing right in the name of Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Says he is going to change it for you, but you got to step out of the way and just and just let him in. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus tonight, God, this day, this day, O oh Lord, decree it from heaven, God. Lean up for me just a little bit for me, sir. Oh, about right along right there. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. Sure, he's touching the backbone. Come on, you feel it burning? Come here, Brother Jay. Come here, brother. Come on. Come on, you want to feel? Come on, you want to feel a miracle? It's the hand of God that this back has not been broke. In the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you this morning, oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, it creates the dialogue. It creates the junk in your mind. How are you? Good. I'm good too, I think. See, there is something that said that that just spoke to me, sis, when I come by and said, you can't run, you can't run, you can't run, you can't run. And it's trying to do this to you. See, there is a freedom that is in worship that is like none other. See, nobody knows what it's really like but the one that's hurting to stand over in the corner and just watch everybody else just enjoy the things of God. But, but you. What's back here is gone. Come on, it's over. You may have to kick your shoes off. Come on, you may have to kick your shoes off. Come on, sis. Come on, sis. You can do this. Come on, you. You can do this. Hell is a lie. Hell is a lie. Hell is a lie. Hell is a lie. There is a spirit of drama, sis, and it's been trying to keep you in a tailspin. No more. I'm no more go going in circles, God. No more, God. You are a key to your family. I 
I hear you saying, Mama, Mama, if you would just come. Mama, Mama, if you would just come. Mama, will you come? Will you come and check it out, Mama? Will you come and worship with us? We're excited, Mama. Come on, sis, you ain't have to kick them shoes off. God, today, I'm gonna celebrate you because I know what you're doing in my life. I know what you've done for me. I know where you brought me from, God. I'm not going back in that corner. I'm not going back in that box. Go ahead, sis. You made, you made the first step, mama's gonna make the second step. If it was your mama coming out of the world, come on, you dance too. Sis, that, that spirit of witchcraft that has been trying to plague that city. I see a spirit and it's folding up its bags. Come on, sis, it's closing a box. It's closing a chapter. We cannot do, uh, do anything with this here. Revival's gonna break out in that church. You, you watch and see. You watch this, sis. God is gonna do a work there in the name of G Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord. Come on, mama's coming out. Come on, mama's coming out, sis. Mama's coming out. See, when people start saying never can and impossible, that, that is what God, uh, that, uh, that's what he moves in because he proves everybody else wrong and he says, you know what? I'm possible and I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna show you everything that, I, uh, that I'm going to do. I think I'm crazy. Here's here why mama is afraid. Because I gotta let go of this. If I can let go of this, you're gonna think I'm crazy. But if you'll go dance with that sister right there, that, that is Sister Smith, come on, you go get her right by the hand. Come on, I know it sounds crazy. No more today, God. No more plaguing in her mind. God, no more this spirit pulling on her. No more this spirit, oh God, and no more this spirit, oh God, that is trying to tear her down in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you today, oh God, for that complete deliverance. Get all you can get, girl, it never runs dry. I'm trying to hurry, God. Before I walk out of this building, I want you to take this home with you and put it under the mattress where you sleep, okay? Not right now, because I still got a hold of it, okay? Give me just a little bit. We're going to let it charge on up. Sis, right, right here. Come back. I'm sorry. I'm not. Come back. I'm not. And it's a wrestling match back and forth. 
He was the determining factor that says, hey, I give my will to him. See, if Brother Smith has got the one rein of a horse, and I got the other rein of a horse, and he's going one way and I'm going this way, the horse is going, uh oh, we got a problem. But once I take my rein and I put it in his hand and says, Pastor, you know what? The horse is going to follow him everywhere he goes. Says when you put your heart right into the hands of Christ Jesus, it's all going to break loose and it's all going to turn loose. Says in the name of Jesus Christ, it's going to start pulling on you. Come on, girl. Come on. In the name of Jesus right now. In the name of Jesus, I do thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Come on, girl. Come on. In the name of Jesus. It's time to tell fear and it's time to tell doubt to go park, sis. Come on. Come on. Put it to flight right now. In, in the name of Jesus, I do thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say it. Say it. Everything's going to be okay. Go ahead, say it. Say it. Say it. Everything is going to be okay. Sis, get worry out of your mind. Come on, get worry out of your mind. Everything's going to be all right in the name of, Je of Jesus Christ. I thank you today, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. I praise you today. I praise you today. I praise you today. Somebody come on to the music, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. Hello, sister. Pressure. The pressure. The pressure is coming off. And there's a joy. Come on, say ha ha. Come on, say a ha ha. It's called the pressure of life. And sis is trying to get you down. Come on, put, uh, put it under your feet and just dance. In, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you today, God. Somebody come on to the music, please. I, I know she's coming. There she is. I know she's coming. I know she's coming. Come on, I'm trying, okay? I'm trying to, I'm trying to land this plane, okay? I, okay, I really am. Sis, it is broken. It's not breaking. It's broken. Sis, and it's not coming back through. It's not going to plague your mind anymore, sis. It's not going to hinder you anymore, sis. Come on, the Holy Ghost has done broke the back of that situation. In the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you today, Lord. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Sir, sir, it's like an X right, right, right in your backbone, sir. Coming across the X in the very center of your backbone, sir. He's healing and he's pushing this vertebra over. It's all turning around in the name of Jesus Christ. I do thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah, Lord. Hello, Sister Maroon. Come on, lift your hands for me. Yes, ma'am. Sis, if you'll keep praying, they are going to come. They are going to come, sis. All three of them. And all three of them's coming out, sis. In the name of Jesus Christ. I know it's been a battle. I know it's been rough. I know it's been frustrating. But Jesus is bringing them out. Hallelujah, Jesus. I do thank you, Lord. I do thank you, Lord. All hell wants is just publicity. Sis, he's going to touch you. 
Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Is that your baby? Going to touch the digestive system? In the name of Jesus Christ, everything's going to be okay. Come on, sis, everything's going to be okay. Fear, no more fear, God. You've got to go park in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord. This thing has been trying to plague your mind over and over and over, but it's just, just stopping. In the name of Jesus Christ, I do thank you, Lord. Something's wrong with my baby. Something's wrong with my family. No, it's not. That assists us alive from the pits of hell. That's what the enemy is wanting you to think, sis, to get you down just so that he can get into your mind in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. It ain't happening. I'm raising my kids right in the house of God. I'm raising my family right, right in the house of God. We're going to worship together. We're going to dance together. We're going to shout together. from God this morning. You need the Holy Ghost. Come on, you can come around, come on around this altar. I believe God will fill you with the Holy Ghost. There are so many of us in this building this morning. We are dealing with the spirit of drama in our mind. The enemy is trying to draw you out. You know why he's trying to draw you out that way? Because he wants to destroy you. He wants to completely tear down. I'm sorry. Jesus don't tear down. He builds up. An old-fashioned altar will, would solve a lot things in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus